what's up everybody i am back and today we are going to make a light switch now um this is going to be a, a short tutorial because there's not much in the coding right now let's we have already let's start we want to make the simple plane or the ground uh just make a simple simple one and I need to change my first one to a first person character prefab FPS controller. Yep, this is way too small. That's what I expected. Alright, and then um and then I want to take uh want to rotate this all white nice to 90 degree and then um, can you be a little bit darker please um, wow how do you oh I guess I need a texture but I don't have any texture so that's not a good idea that's not good it's just going to play with directional light yeah, with the lightning there we go we can uh, since we are going to work on the light switch with uh, since it's yes, light so we're just going to do this All right now make your actual light switch I'm not going to go very detail on light switch because I don't do models I just don't alright there is one big light switch but mm, meh I'm just going to rename this light switch and going to put the light right here so as you can see this is the light now this is not actual light without the light component I'm going to add component um, what rendering light okay um, you're going to use this light I'm just going to put it like right beside that thing all right uh, let's start scripting I'm going to script this light switch all right open this in your default text editor or script editor usually in the come with mono default but I'm using visual studio I just wait until this thing loads all right now what we're going to do we are going to use a on trigger uh, checking because um, why is this active oh oh yeah this is from the other yeah all right anyway so we're, uh, we can use request but we're not going to use something quite advanced yet this is going to use on trigger which is very easy now void on on trigger I think there is uh, I'm going to use on let just see yeah, on trigger enter uh, collider other all right um and then there's void on trigger exit and then the same collider other on trigger we're going we're not going to use enter we're going to stay i think i think it's on trigger stay if i'm mistaken uh yeah on trigger stay or you can just say on trigger enter since we're just going to use boolean so public bool um, on switch just like that and then just write on switch is equal to true and on switch is equal to false All right now void on gui and then gui.box new rag you can just play with this um, coordinates or the size of the gui but I'm not going to get into it so I'm gonna put 100 that's too big 120 and then 
press E to to um, close the light. Let you say that. But if we are since it says press E to close the light, if um, public bull light status. So if light status is true, then we want to make it off. But what? What? Oh, that's odd. Press E to open the light. Now since if light status on, if we're inside it, and then if we press E, if input input dot get key down. Mm, key code dot e let's say e for the default um, that one and then what going to do is public game object uh, the light this name is the light and then the light dot enable the enable the um thing is game object with with not a capitalized G and then dot and then the light dot animal yes there's a capital G sorry uh, light dot active yeah means active is equal to false um, anyway else just copy this one and just move it down here and then just set this is equal to true uh, the problem is though um, since the light is combined we cannot use uh, the light dot active now we have to use some alternative uh, we can use um well if you want since this is going to be an easy tutorial we are just going to separate the light so the light just copy this light on the higher higher hierarchy um, and then put this inside the light this one should be the main stuff but there will be no cube mesh so remove the cube mesh remove the box collider remove the mesh renderer um, and you can just put renderer rendering dot light there we go it's just the same and then on your oh I, for I forgot the light switch you want to put it on your cube your light switch if I can find where the hell is the light switch going to name this light switch put your light switch creep on your light switch and then um, it's not in the script uh, can I please put light switch on light switch light switch on light switch because there's an error oh light switch is right here all right and then just drag your main not the main or the light core which is the actual light in the object um, where did I put my oh yeah, light switch then what you can do is light core just put the light core there all right and then um, on switch there we go we just delete on trigger since we don't need the on switch all right on switch is true on switch is false also i'll be um placing the script down in the description below we need to extend the box uh, the box is make sure this one is trigger and then uh why did i change that just change the size of the Y. No, it's not Y, it's the Z one. Change the Z one. No, it's Y. Y. You gotta do this. Alright, Y. Just put it like, just like that. And then, 
whenever you enter that that box thingy it will just show the press e dingly but it's too short so i'm just going to extend this to 200 and then i'm going to change the intensity of the light core to a little bit brighter so you can see what's happening and then yep it's bright enough i guess all right there we go and i can see on press it mm. god there is a little bit of problem with um with With uh, the input get key down thingy with on GUI, we are going to transfer this into void up on up void update void update and then um. just copy that one and just delete this one so just like this void update if on switch and then just else true just like that and then what I'm going to do is light switch okay, light switch light status is equal to true or false light status is equal to true all right when i get here press e there we go um okay the variable of the last switch the light what is not not active this so one's not supposed to be on switch but also it's supposed to be on it's not it should be it should be if light status when it's blood status and then yep there we go there we go and then you can just play with the thingy if you want to now there's a way on getting the light status automatically if you are using player first so you just need to save uh, the status of the light now uh, it's on update so if light if the light dot game object is wow well, wow well, wow well, is the light dot active is equal to true and then light status is equal to true else yet light status is equal to false well this is if you're using a player verb and you're lazy to put two variable for just for one light then this is a way you just have to um 
save the com save you have to save the state of the light just you have to use is a player perv dot set bull no 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 set int and then light the light dot active and then just play this like this like this and you're done this is how you save the light state this is in and this is a game object just like that so yeah guys um thanks for watching uh i hope you learn a new lesson on this video uh if you want to stay tuned on, the, on my channel hit that subscribe button if you like the video or if the video helps you please hit that like button and if you want to suggest me anything you can always write a comment down below in the description below yes a description no it's not description on the comment below and i'll see you guys later goodbye